Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Lloyd's ASMR. So, I recently purchased like three magazines. And I decided to make a post and put it to a vote with all of you. Well, this is the one that won. Second place came the Indiana Jones magazine. And the last place was the vampires. Now, as some of my subscribers that have been around for a while uh, may know that I'm kind of into the paranormal. Um, I am a co-founder of a paranormal group. Um, it's a pretty much a, a family um, created paranormal group. Um, it's me few cousins, occasionally my brother, but, but yeah, for those who are new to the channel and, and don't know too much about me yet, that's uh, a little fun fact, and the reason why I have these paranormal magazines when it's not even Halloween. <laughs> but today we are going to be checking out a magazine about ghosts. And the truth behind the legends and lore. I think this here is supposed to be the brown lady. Just because, um, uh, it has the stairs here, and a lady in a gown and a dress coming down the stairs. It's one of the most famous uh, ghost pictures. But, um, yeah. The truth behind the legends and lore, including spooky stories. World's most haunted places, mediums, psychics, and more. Plus, real life Ghostbusters. Spirit hunters share their secrets. Should be interesting. Let's dive right into it. That's a, that's a very uh, spooky picture right there. The, the 
woods and uh, you know, the bright light, the fog sets up for a really good spooky uh, scenario. And then of course a house with just one light on. I think, I think there's a shadow right there. So, perfect setup for a spooky uh, picture. So here is our table of contents. Let's take a look at them. So chapter one will be Haunted History. A Spirited Welcome. Evolution of the Afterlife. Agnes, Earl, and Beryl Barris, the ghost of the Tilton Hilton. In chapter two, we have Happy Hunting. Who are you going to call? The 411 on Mediums. So long, Spectres. Phantoms or Fantasy. Chapter 3 Myths and Mysteries Legends Never Die Buyer Boo Where Which uh, I think it's, you know, it's supposed to be Beware Buyer Beware For those who don't know, Spirit Guide in Chapter 4, Pop Culture Poltergeist, Ghouls on Film, Ghost Story, and Read These If You. History And it says Welcome to the spirit world Discover the evolution of thousand-year-old Mesopotamian uh, cuneiform tablets to teach 
TV's Ghost Hunters and read about one writer's misadventures growing up in a real haunted house. notice that um, like in horror movies there's always like a, a red tint to things you know like it creates an atmosphere but it's usually red um, green like a bright blue Sometimes even a purple. Next time you watch a horror movie, if you do, keep an eye out for it. Oh, there we go. There's a, there's a ghost right there. Spooky. And uh, just like I was saying, um, here's the, the blue tint. <laughs> A spirited. says ghosts have been a part of almost every culture throughout time and they continue to give us chills today. Evolution of the afterlife. A brief haunted history of ghosts. Now, there is a lot to read in this magazine. We have a lot of magazine to go through yet. But if you would like me to revisit some of these stories, I'd be more than happy to. So if you Here is some Japanese supernatural lore. Um, if any of 
you have seen the uh, new Tomb Raider movie, the newest one that they uh, remade. It kind of reminds me of that. Some of you may recognize it. Taps from the show Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters is um, one of my favorite TV shows. Not a real big fan of Ghost Adventures, though, with Zach Vegas. Um, you know, every ghost he comes across always seems to know him. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, it's not realistic. Here's a story that some of you may want me to revisit at some point. Um, Agnes, Earl, and Beryl Barras, the ghosts of the Tilton Hill. The writer revealed, recalls his creepy childhood in a Victorian manse that had been a prohibition hotspot. So apparently it's uh, maybe ghosts of mobsters. Uh, you know, mobsters were a big thing back in the day of, of the Prohibition.
says looking to make contact with the spirits and their world we've got you covered we talk to real ghostbusters about their techniques and equipment practicing mediums give you the scoop on connecting and advise you how to give the boot to unwanted visitors and experts break down all the possible non-paranormal explanations for things that go bump in the night Investigations, anything like Ghostbusters. Actual ghost hunters give us a glimpse beyond the movie magic to explain how they look for supernatural activity. Here's the inside scoop on the pseudoscience. These rods have been used for centuries to locate strong energy fields. Modern dowsing rods are L-shaped and are often made of copper. A person holds one in each hand while concentrating and they will form an X at the spot where a spirit's strong energy is detected. Down 
bouncing rods are similar to a pendulum, but I can get more to the spirit story, or but one can get more to the spirit story, explains Ghost Hunter Melissa Bryan. So that must be Melissa Bryan. Pendulum is one of the simplest divination tools. It consists of a weighted object, often a stone or crystal, attached to a cord or chain, which is held in the air and can be manipulated by paranormal entities. A pendulum is used to direct energy to yes or no questions. The SB7 Spirit Box is about as high-tech as it gets, and fans of paranormal TV shows will recognize it as the thing that transmits supernatural voices, referred to as EVPs. A spirit box allows for more direct communication with a spirit, much further than either the pendulum or dowsing rods. Notes Brian, it allows a spirit to use its energy to speak to the living. EMF meter measures the electromagnetic fields radiating from an item or within a space. Electricians employ these handheld devices to pinpoint problems with power lines and electrical wiring. While ghost hunters have been using them to help locate the spirits for decades now. There's things like sage smudge sticks and salt, which are also tools that many mediums use to cleanse negative energy. Here we have the Stanley Hotel, which was the inspiration for The Shining. see those two kids. You can just imagine it right there. Those two kids in the hall. Creepy. are the ones that inspired the movie series The Conjuring.
the four one one on mediums. Ever wondered about those psychics who claim they can connect with the dead? Here's the real deal. energy in your abode, a leading psychic tells you how to send it away. And again, if any of you are having problems with bad energies or spirits, and you'd like me to read this, so you can, you know, find out a little bit of information, and just let me know. Phantoms or fantasy. A look at some of the potential explanations behind apparitions and other ghostly forms. See, that's the thing. When doing a paranormal investigation, a, uh, a good, a good paranormal investigator will always look to debunk things first. You know, that way it gets all of the stuff you know, environmental issues, um, you know, different noises and, and, and uh, scents, sounds that a, a house or, or location usually gives. You gotta knock those out of the ballpark first. Then, anything after that is questionable. Chapter three. Myths and mysteries. Go. 
cover some of the most enduring ghost stories, like the slit-faced woman and Bloody Mary. Explore the world's most haunted places, from the Amityville murder house to the hotel that inspired the shining. Plus, find out how real estate agents go about selling homes that have some bad spirit vibes. Yeah, I would tend to think it would be kind of difficult to sell a haunted house. I mean, you know, some people would buy it, but others would not. Well, that thing is creepy. Look at it. What in the world is that? Legend. Whether real, a misunderstanding, or straight up fiction, these stories of local spirits have persisted. some uh, different stories that if you want me to read just let me know in the comments below the slit mouthed woman interesting and the jersey devil Here's the film version, and here's the real version, which is nothing more than a Raggedy Ann doll. Well, looks like even President Lincoln is a ghost. Interesting. Resurrection Mary. I remember first seeing about Resurrection Mary on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. It's quite an interesting story. Your eyes out, they say. The fly. 
Flying Dutchman, a ghost ship. The Winchester House's staff. Yeah, the Winchester House is, uh, that is one interesting place. These are some of the most haunted places on the planet. The Amityville House. Akershus Fortress. First World Hotel Hui Bachao Forest I probably am not saying that right La Recoleta or Recoleta Cemetery Yeah. 
the Stanley Hotel. on film count down the most memorable spirits ever to haunt the big screen <laughs> so here we have number 25 Lucy Chadman in Hello Again 24. Captain Daniel Gregg, The Ghost and Mrs. Murr, 1947.
number three, The Ghost, Poltergeist, 1982. Number two, Beetlejuice, from the movie Beetlejuice. 1988. So I guess they're coming out with a sequel. Which would be really cool. From what I heard, um, I guess they're going to use, you know, the same techniques and uh, style, including the music, as the original. So. That'd be nice. And number one, Casper the Friendly Ghost from the movie Casper, 1995. All right, everyone. That is it. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope you could find it informative and entertaining, but especially relaxing and tingling. Like I said, if there's anything in here that you'd like me to further indulge in, then just please let me know in the comments section below, and I will see what I can do. safe, happy, and healthy, and of course, as always, stay relaxed. This is Lloyd's ASMR signing off.